Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Super Indie Showcase Sunday on YouTube. This week we review De Resto. Wow. Such timing. Seriously, I did not plan this. I just started recording during the credits thing and boom, popped up right on cue. Thank you game for making my videos even better. <laughs> Alright, let's just adjust our things here. Brightness, let's raise that a little bit. So it helps you guys see what's going on. And native, yes, yes. even though it's hauntingly beautiful and uh, full captions through. Alright. I have no idea what this game is and once again I forgot to check out who uh, the publisher is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but I will link it in the description as I've done last week. So let's go. Oh, It seems we have different chapters to this story. Let's start with the first one. Yes? play this chapter. Alright, this is another one of the games that I picked up on uh, w with the Humble Bundle 8. Uh, been looking forward to this one. Picked up a bunch of other games. Uh, I was going to play Hotline Miami for today, but for some reason it's it has failed to load. So I'm probably going to have to re-download it. But we're playing this one. Dear Esther. Dear Let's Esther. The morning after I was washed ashore, salt in my ears, sand in my mouth, and the waves always at my ankles, I felt as though everything had conspired to this one last shipwreck. I remembered nothing but water, stones in my belly and my shoes, threatening to drag me under to where only the most listless of creatures swim. Man. Sounds rough. Alright, so is that us? We're, uh... Okay, so I'm guessing we're the ones writing to Esther, and we've just been shipwrecked. And we land on this strange coast with a, an, a, what appears to be an abandoned lighthouse. It's not abandoned, and these people sure don't take care of their stuff. Nice graphics. Oh, the little grass is moving, that's cool. Particles, oh. We have a flashlight. I don't know how it survived the uh, the shipwreck, but we have a flashlight. Don't know why I focused it on the toilet, but <laughs> all right. This place is abandoned. Can we pick up stuff? Can't pick up the lantern or the deck of cards. And I wanted to play some solitaire. Next week on Super Indie Showcase Sundown. Solitaire. Can't pick up the paint? Aww. Oh. We've got some chemistry here. Alright. Oh man. I wish I'd taken organic chemistry. I did a little bit of it in high school, but not enough. 2C, C2. How many H's is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. C2H5OH. Ah. I wish I could figure out what that is. And apparently we can't go up into the lighthouse because stairs. Stairs are problematic. Can't jump. Unless, uh, yeah, jump. Doesn't seem there's a jump key. At least it's not space or shift. Maybe it's enter? No. Oh. I crouched somehow. I don't know how, but I did. Hmm, let's see, hold on. Uh, options. Con keyboard mouse. Alright. 
Oh, we can play with the controller too. Hmm. Alright. Edit key buttons. Alright, move forward, back, swim up. Okay, so we can swim. Zoom in, mouse one, miscellaneous key button. Quick save, quick load, take screenshot. That's it. Alright, let's see if I can configure the controller. Enabled. Uh, enabled. Aha, yeah. We got controller options. Alright. As always, let's play with the controller because controllers are more fun. Aha. Sweet. Okay. Boiler. Can I hit you? No. Apparently it's just pure exploration. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go up this hill. It's always a good idea in these games where you have no idea what you're doing to uh, take a gander around, find a high point, see if there are any features that you need to note down. This reminds me a little bit of uh, games in the mist uh, jar. You're alone, you have no idea what you, the heck you're doing here, except they've provided us with some context. Wait, I'm stuck. Can't jump. Alright. Can't go up there. Hmm. Let's go down here. I think there was a path. That path does not look... Oh, there's a beach. Let's go to the beach. Apparently we don't have any health either, so... That's good. Hmm. We're playing this game without any uh, prior knowledge as to what's going on. Uh, hold on. Just gonna invert. Yes. Can I invert the uh, y the camera look type? Inverted. Thank you. Yes, that's better. Oh yes. Okay. Hmm. Lobster cages. It would seem. Yep. Lobster cages. So I guess this is a fishing community. We figured that much out. Ah, another path up. Great. And can we go behind this boulder and into this creek? There was once talk of a wind oh. farm out here, away from the rage and the intolerance of the masses. The sea, they said, is too mm. rough for the turbines to stand. They clearly never came here to experience the becalming for themselves. Huh. Personally, I would have supported it. Turbines would be a fitting contemporary refuge for a hermit. The revolution and the permanence. All right. Oh, lines in the sand. Lines in the sand. Alright, so... Triangle cross leads to this thing. Kinda looks like a, like a lobster claw. Alright. Let's keep going. We probably should be noting some of these things down on a pad somewhere. But, eh. Yeah, this does remind me a lot of the of the mist and of the mist. I find myself to be as featureless as this ocean, as shallow and unoccupied as this bay, a listless wreck without identification. <laughs> My rocks are these bones and a careful fence to keep the precipice at bay. Shot through me caves. My forehead a mount. This aerial will transmit into me, sir. Man, this All guy is poetic. The nervous system. Where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still trample. I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that will carry me under. This guy is, uh. He's gloomy and poetic. I think we're playing as Edgar Allan Poe. Get up there. He cannot. Get back on shore. Hey. 
Come on. Get up. Ah, oh, come on. How did how do we get out of here now? Ah, there we go. Okay. Alright. We're exploring. We're finding things. There's old tires. So the guy talked about a revolution and how they wanted to build stuff here away from badness. So I'm guessing this is post-apocalyptic or something. Hmm. We'll see. We need more clues. More data is needed to formulate a hypothesis. Let's go up this staircase. Do -do -do -do. I wish we could run though, because this is uh, this is slow, just a bit. Climb up, up we go. This is beautiful though. Hmm. It's all overgrown with weeds and little mountain flowers. Up, up, up. And... Aha. Is that where... Yeah, that's where we... Uh, that's where the road got broken. Alright, we can keep going on our journey up this hill. And... I see a radio tower in the distance. I think that's a radio tower. Maybe we can communicate the with the outside world. The mound is clearly the focal point of this landscape. It almost appears so well placed as to be artificial. I find myself easily slipping into the delusional state of ascribing purpose, deliberate what? motive to everything here. Was this island formed during the moment of impact? When we were torn loose from our moorings, and the seat belts cut motorway lanes into our chests and shoulders, did it first break surface then? What are you talking about, dude? This... this guy... When someone had died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. Huh. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid, or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff path died along with its hosts. Huh. My lines are just for this. To keep any would-be rescuers at bay. You don't want to be rescued? Uh. Alright. I have no idea where the path is. I'm just going through bushes right now. I quote directly. A motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to be the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Huh. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to all me right. that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? Oh, the ship. There's the shipwreck. Okay. Uh, we're just going cross country right now, cause ah, there's this seems like a more suitable path. Okay. Huh. Well, well, well. This is interesting. Oh, there's a cave. Caves are fun. Um. Dear Esther. Man, I need to run. I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Hmm. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Okay. 
I threw my arms wide and the cliff opened out before me, making this rough home. I transferred my belongings from the bothy on the mountain and tried to live here instead. It was cold at night and the sea lapped at the entrance at high tide. To climb the peak, I must first venture even deeper into the veins of the island, where the signals are blocked altogether. Only then will I understand them, when I stand on the summit and they flow into me, uncorrupted. Okay, so I see a neuron. A lobster? That same, that same equation might be a drug that affects the, uh, the brain cells. That, that just looks like a lobster to me. That's more neurons. Is that maybe a tree? I don't know. Huh. And all in phosphorescent paint. Interesting. Alright. So, this may have something to do with brain chemistry. Maybe. We're picking up clues, people. We're picking up clues. But it, it seems like every clue we pick we pick up just makes it... It just, it just, it just confuses the thing even more. Hey! Eagle Bro! Ah, uh, it's probably Seagull. It'd be cool if it was Eagle Bro, though third series in which we see Eagle Bro after Assassin's Creed and World of Warcraft. <laughs> Alright. Seriously, that radio tower I think is our only chance of communicating with the outside world because right now we're writing letters to Esther and uh, I'm pretty sure the postman doesn't come by here. And Something tells me we don't have any stamps anyways. I've become convinced I'm not alone here. Even though I'm equally sure it is simply a delusion brought upon by circumstance. No, no, I'll go with it. For instance, remember where I found the candle. Or why I took it upon myself to light such a strange pathway. Candles? Perhaps it is only for those who are bound to follow. Why do we have candles? Do we have an inventory? Doesn't look like it. Alright, here's that Stonehenge looking thing that we saw from up there. Hmm. Oh, and there seems to be markings on the rocks as well. Okay, markings are always good. Aha! That is an even more complicated compound. Cyclical? Ah, oh, man, I need to bone up on my organic chemistry. But, yeah. Oh, Bible. Can I pick it up? Alright. Can't pick up the Bible. Let's get through Stonehenge and go up this hill. That radio tower is calling to me. And hopefully it will call to other people outside. Up the hill. Man, that music is a tease. It just starts and it's hauntingly beautiful for a couple seconds and then, nope, no more music. You just hear the sea. And every once in a while a little seagull. I... Hmm. More music, please. Distract me from the bleakness of it all. Hmm. I think there's a point of no return. Oh! Fell down. Oh! Loading screen. Alright, we found something. Maybe. It's loading. Give it a second. Here we are. Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, what? and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. 
you'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. Hmm. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome break services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Alright. Alright, so the letters have been written before we ship direct, obviously, because uh, I don't see the M5 anywhere around here. I do see what seems like an old port. Let's just go down to it. Steering wheel. There's debris everywhere around here. This is not the cleanest beach. I hope we're not barefoot because that is a surefire way to get tetanus. Oil barrel. Yeah. Uh, this is why we shouldn't pollute the beaches. Feeling sand between your toes is fun, but if you're gonna risk tetanus for it, then it's... It's not good. Oh, it's not a port, it, it's an old... Transport ship. It's a cargo ship. Alright, let's check inside the containers. Maybe the containers have a story to tell? Or markings inside? Not this one, though. Crates... stuff... You know what? At least the music is here. And it's not going away. There's a plus. More paint. Seriously, man, I want to do something with the paint. Just write something like, Xander was here. Hey! Xander was here. Hmm. Uh, no. I saw color and I thought, <gasps> people? No. Buoys. Flotation devices. Is there any way to get on the boat? Can I climb? Please let me climb. Nope. Nope. Nothing to do here. Alright, let's go back up. We have another hill to climb up. Over here. Hmm. Is this... Is this island just full of shipwrecks, or what's going on? I'm guessing the all the lighthouses went out, and now everybody shipwrecks here. There's, there seems to be a lot of rocks just everywhere around the water. It's not a good place for boats. <laughs> yep, not a good place to be a boat. All night the boy has kept me lucid. I sat when I was at the very edge of despair, when I thought I would never unlock the secret of the island. I sat at the edge, and I watched the idiot boy blink through the night. He's mute, and he's retarded, and he's no thought in his metal head but to blink each wave and each minute aside until the morning comes and renders him blind as well as deaf mute. In many ways, we have much in common. That is awesome. I'm liking this narrator. Good sense of humor, this man. Aha! Good thing we came over here. Neither did he eat nor drink. Could be important. Could be important. Fishing trolley over there. And the radio tower is still very far away. We have a ways yet to go. Hmm. What if I climb back up here? What will I find? It looks... Yeah, it looks like the radio tower is even further than it was before. Please don't tell me it just keeps backing up, because that would be... That would suck. Alright. More weeds, more grasses and little flowers, and the sky is gray. Oh, the sky is gray. 
Grey like this man's thoughts. Depression and... And world weariness. Alright, this just goes back the way we came from. Uh, let's go along the shoreline, because I think we can go around this... Uh, this rock here. Hmm. Look like it could it could go all the way around. So let's see. The dunes. Ah, there we go. Steering wheel. We came through here. Hmm. Neither did he eat nor drink. It's part of the riddle. I had kidney stones, and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Oh, so she's dead. She has been killed in a car accident by a drunk driver. Uh, another p <laughs> another public service announcement. <laughs> People do not drink and drive. Seriously, it's dumb. You think that buoy's retarded? Try driving drunk. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? What? This is not natural. Straight lines aren't natural. Alright, so there's a brown rock straight line, and then this looks similar to... Oh no, that's an electrical diagram. That's a, that's an LED. Alright. So now we're into uh, electrical and electrical circuits. Okay. Electronic circuits. But what is that? What is that supposed to represent? Battery? There's a... That's either resistance or a coil. I think it might be a coil. Goes to an LED. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Science don't fail me now. Betting all of these things will be useful eventually. Okay, so we are picking up bits of the puzzle. Esther is dead. He's speaking to her ghost, I guess. He's depressed because because of her death, and he took a boat. He took the midnight boat going anywhere, and he got shipwrecked. And apparently there may or may not be other people on this island. That's for us to find out. So let's go this way. Uh, a little mountain ridge. Oh, that seems like a big depression. Ooh! Sinkhole. Do not want to fall into that. Okay. Oh, house up there. A few little uh, constructions. Good. Maybe we find something more. All looks abandoned, though. I've begun my ascent on the windless slope of the western side. The setting sun was an inflamed eye squeezing shut against the light shone in by the doctors. My neck is aching through constantly craning my head up to track the light of the aerial. I must look downwards, follow the path under the island to a new beginning. Follow the path under the island. Okay, so we might find a tunnel somehow, somewhere. Ah, the light of the doctor, so there's disease or injury. Maybe Esther isn't dead. Maybe she's in a coma and we're traveling through her coma world. That would be messed up. 
Or maybe we're the ones who got into a car wreck. And in and we're in our own coma world. Where the car wreck is the Bothy was constructed a shipwreck in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd Pretty sure shepherds were from a lineage of career people way before the 1700s. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. Hmm. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him, either. Alright. So a Scandinavian fellow lived here and tried to raise sheep. That would explain on the lines. Um, I'm guessing the, the pathways represent something if look top from the top side. That looks like a barn. Oh! More electric electronic diagrams. Alright. Uh, let's see. More LEDs. They look like they all shoot into each other somehow. What is that? Can't figure it out. That is the weirdest circuit diagram I've ever seen. It doesn't look like a circuit diagram, it just looks like a bunch of LEDs shooting into, into each other. Alright. Oh! More symbols. And... Another lobster. So I think that's what it is. It's the same one that was in the cave. Though. So that repeats. Let's look inside the house. Books. My heart is landfill. These false dawns waking into the still never light. I sweat for you in the small hours and wrap my blankets into a mass. I have always heard the waves break on these lost shores, always the gulls forgotten. I can lift this bottle to my ear, and all there ever is for me is this Hebridean music. Huh. Yeah, I can't figure out if we're really shipwrecked or if it's a metaphor. Plans, what is this? Uh, Hebridean history. Hmm. Don't know what Hebridean means. Man, maybe it was missing some letters. Sleeping bag. Looks neat enough. That looks newer than the rest of the stuff. So does the coffee mug. Coffee mug has some... Uh, chemistry to it. Alright. More notebooks. That actually looks like a logbook. Hmm cave with a light at the end of it. Interesting. And at the end of the cliff, what shall we find? Another path winding down. Let's look upon the sea and oh dear lord. That looks endless and dangerous. Hmm. Okay, let's go back up. I just want to check out, because the, there seem to be set lines to this thing. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a winding path. I'm trying to see patterns where there aren't, there aren't any. Need to figure this out. Okay. Uh, I guess the path goes down here. Can't go up there, apparently. Not yet. Go down. Hope there's a way to go back up into this cave. Let's head down the hill. See what we can find.
this is double back eventually hopefully because then I have no idea do 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 alright yeah this whoa alright in a footnote the editor comments that at this point Donnelly was going insane as syphilis tore through his system like a drunk driver. <laughs> He's not to be trusted. Many of his claims are unsubstantiated, and although he does paint a colourful picture, much of what he says may have been derived directly from his fever. Okay. But I've been here, and I know, as Donnelly did, that this place is always half imagined. Even the rocks and caves will shimmer and blur with the right eye. So, it's, maybe we're not in a coma, maybe we're inside Donnelly's syphilitic dream. They found Jacobson in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. Okay. All around him small flowers were reaching for the weak sun. The goats had adjusted happily to life without a shepherd and were grazing freely about the valley. Hmm. Donnelly reports they hurled the body in fear and disgust down the shaft. But I cannot corroborate this story. Okay, down that sinkhole we saw? Maybe. Another shipwreck, although this one seems to be really old. I can't figure out when this story takes place. Because they're talking about the M5 and driving, so I'm guessing at least 20th century if not 21st but then syphilis and other stuff like that just makes it sound like it's from the 18 or 17 climbing down to the caves I slipped and fell and have injured my leg I think the femur is broken it's what? clearly infected the skin has turned a bright tight pink and the pain is crashing in on waves winter tides against my shoreline I don't remember that happening stones. I struggled back to the Bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. Okay. I don't remember breaking my femur, but sure. Oh no, you know what? Maybe we are Esther and we're just remembering letters that were sent by that dude. And now we're on the island looking for him. Maybe? Nah. So many possibilities. Let's figure it out. Alright. Seems to be more phosphorus and qualities to the rocks here, but no patterns that I can discern. Let's climb up. Ah, candles! We spoke about candles before, and here they are. Whoa! Well, this is pretty. Okay. Do we go down here? Whoa! Okay. Sure. Let's go down into the bowels of the island. Why not? Hmm. This game, man. Maybe that's when I broke my femur. Did Jacobson crawl this far? Can I identify the scratches his nails ruined into the rocks? Am I following Blood. him cell for cell, inch for inch? Why did he turn back on himself and not carry through to the ascent? Okay, we're up. There's a red tinge to everything. More phosphorus, phosphorescent paint. We fell down far. 
Maybe the femur is broken now. I have no blood. Ah! I think our flashlight's broken. Alright, hopefully there's enough phosphorus, phosphorus and paint everywhere to uh, guide our way, because no more flashlight for us. But, glow caps? Or is that... Are those mushrooms or moss? Fungus? organic and funky looking it's over here hmm. just the pool of water doesn't seem to be anything at the bottom nope Yeah, I think that's fungus of some kind. Or maybe bacteria. Ah! Neuron. So humans have been here. Well, obviously because of the candle. Unless we're the ones who put it there. Duck. Yep. <laughs> Watch your head. No more symbols. Just gotta make sure we don't miss any. There are mushrooms. There are glow caps. Alright. So every everything glows. Ooh. We wanted symbols. We got them. I first saw him sat by the side of the road. I was waiting for you to be cut out of the wreckage. The car looked like it had been dropped from a great height. The guts of the engine spilled over the tarmac, like oh. water underground. Circuit... Not even circuit diagrams, just... Elements. Coils. Capacitors. Same squiggly lines. Squiggly lines. I think that's a radio transmitter. Oh, now this is a circuit diagram. Okay, we've got resistances. We've got. I can't follow this, it's too blurry. Another one here. Neuron, coils. More electronic circuitry. Huh. Chemistry. Back to the chemistry. Well, well. Okay. Alright. We came from here. Where are we supposed to go now? saw this. Didn't we? Or is this just... Is this an exact replica of the one that's over there? It is... Strange. Duplicate. Why the duplicate? Oh no, it's not the same. Never mind. Alright, uh, so we came from there. How do we get out now? Oh no, I guess, okay, yeah, there's two ways. We came from here. And now we go back up here. Okay, cool. Hmm. Caves of Wonder. Duck. Ooh, 
pretty. That's so pretty. Hmm. Waterfalls, so... Oh man, do we jump? Is there a way around? Apparently not. Geronimo! Okay, apparently we don't have breath either. Ah, here we are. More glowy fungus. And this is refracted light from the surface, so we can't be too far. Fungus, fungus, fungus. Hmm. That goes down. We go up. Alright. This seems linear enough, but I keep having the feeling that I missed something, like a pathway I didn't see. Well then. Is this the same cave we were before? Looks like it. But this time we have a pathway to the side. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's where we jumped off and into the thing, and now we're gonna walk all the way over here to the candle. Hey, candle. How's it going? And more of the glowy fungus. Whoa, crevice, mushrooms everywhere. This is a wondrous sight indeed. It looks really cool. Crawl, crawl, crawl. All right, our character knows what to do. Oh, this is hypnotic. Ooh. Traveling through my own body, following the line of infection from the shattered femur towards the heart. I swallow fistfuls huh. of painkillers to stay lucid. In my delirium, I see the twin lights of the moon and the area shining to me through the rocks. Alright, we have pathways to either side and a bridge. Let's go right. Wow, this underground river is uh, something else. Are those sparks? Or is there lava? Oh! Another LED! LED, by the way, if you didn't know. Light, emi light emitting diode. Uh, same chemical compound we saw before. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. End of the line. Can we cross over here to the other side? More circuit diagrams. This place is funky. It's beautiful. But it's funky. Bet you those crystals are worth something. Wish I could break one off. Go back to the mainland. Buy some beer with them. 
that's how it works. Oh, same little symbol as before. Not familiar with that one. Hmm. End of the stone bridge, and of course this goes to the other side of the cave. Ah. More crystals, more stalactites and stalagmites. Hmm. Another one of those lobster looking things. It's not a lobster though. I have no idea what it is. Squiggly thing. What does it say? Lumin luminous premium paint. So somebody's used it's the paint is artificial. And there's something floating in the back here. They're letters. They're pages from a book and they've all somebody made paper boats out of all of them. Interesting. Very interesting. Paper boats floating in the water. Another can of another can of luminous paint. Alright, that's another part of the clue. The paint is all these circuit diagrams and squigglies and stuff are from the paint. So these are paint splashes. Blotches, really. Could they be representing a bacterial or viral infection? I used to know what this is. Can't remember though. Oh, it's a photoelectric cell. That's what it is. Receives light pr and provides current, yeah. I remember. Man, that was long ago. Alright, photoelectric cells. More chemistry that I can't read. Ground. Hmm. Neuron. Huh. Just so these paintings do look like the ramblings of a syphilitic brain. Alright, let's follow this cave to its conclusion. Another neuron. And... I'm not sure that's a neuron. And these look naturally occurring since they're blue, but we've seen the same thing in green. Another LED. And the cave of black crystals. Can we go up? No, it won't let us go up. Must come down. And... This is a drowned man's face, reflected in the moonlit waters. It can only be a dead shepherd who has come to drunk drive you home. Alright, so the drunk driving is definitely a big part of the story. Anything at the bottom? Apparently we can't drown. Another candle. See the thing about these candles is if they're burning, they can't they can't be old. They must have been placed here recently. Oh, words. Behold Damascus is taken. Whoa, somebody went... 
somebody went haywire here. Chemistry turns into brain, turns into circuit diagram. Whoa, okay, let's not even try to follow any of it. Okay. Oh, words. Away from being a city. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city? Maybe. And it shall be a ruinous... Ah, I can't read that. Behold, Damascus has been taken away from being a city and it shall... And... It looks like a K, but I'm guessing it's an H. And shall be a ruinous... Head? Or end? Either way, it's ominous and threatening and supports the post-apocalyptic theory. Why Damascus? Does this game have anything to do with the uh, revolts in Syria? <laughs> uh, I'm guessing not. So it must mean something else. swimming. Keep swimming, keep swimming, and see. Hmm. Lichens. This cave just keeps going on and on. Waterfall. Oh, do we have to jump down again? I thought we were going to get out of here. Nope. Geronimo! I... What? Okay, back to present day. Am I supposed to understand? Wow, trippy. Trippy. Okay. And back into another game. Oh man, this game. This game feels more like visiting a painting, somehow. Not much interaction, but exploration and, and delving into somebody's psyche through visual imagery. Yeah, definitely feels like visiting a painting. That's a feeling I'm getting from it. And on to the next chapter. We would go, but I believe this is the end of the hour. So, dear Esther, visually gorgeous, haunting, and quite intriguing indeed. I believe I shall be playing more of it because I need to satisfy my own curiosity. And if you do too, I uh, invite you to purchase the game. It's available on Steam and I will link 
the uh, developer in the description. Cool game. There's a tent and barrels over there. What could it be? You shall know. Maybe. Someday. Alright guys, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.